I'm the Assistant Director of External Compliance and Quality Assurance at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital and I'd like to share our experience of implementing the Friends and Family Test. We implemented the Friends and Family Test for inpatients back in December 2012 and over the past 12 months we've seen a real culture shift, not only in the quality of feedback that we're getting from patients, but also in staff engagement. The way we've achieved this is to get the balance right between positive feedback and negative. The negative feedback we keep an action log that we feed back to ward managers and expect them to complete within 48 hours the actions they've taken to address that negative feedback. The positive comments are put on posters and fed back to the wards and displayed monthly. We're currently in the process of implementing the friends and family test in outpatients. This has broader challenges because unlike inpatients it's not a captive audience and often clinics are delivered in a more sporadic way. But in the same way we feed back positive comments in posters and we also keep an action log for negative comments. We've also implemented the friends and family test on our children's ward um, and the first thing we noticed is that it wasn't often the children that were completing it, it was parents and carers. To help with this we've designed the questionnaire that's a bit more pictorial and this has helped encourage children to give feedback but also again it's in improved the quality of feedback that they're giving. I think the most important thing to remember is that every patient that attends a hospital is a fresh pair of eyes and it helps you to first off see that the services that you're providing are safe but also more importantly that they're caring and effective.